You said racist then. In his time, he wasn't the wire. He played the new battlefield. Fire jets and calling drones and calling shits. Might as well get a bit of smoke going on that, innit? Yeah, mate. Wow, we should just come out pretending we're blazed. What's going on, guys? Uh, yeah, you, bro. I wouldn't be talking like that, mate. I'm joking. Oh, oh, oh. Sid, should we crack on with this video then, mate? Yeah, go on. Let's. Uh... Yeah, let's, let's do Comparison. it. Comparison. Yeah, what's going on, guys? Yeah, that's it. Hello, oh, we have to all act it yeah, and turn man. it into a big palace. You see, it? he's already started acting. Yeah, yeah, oh no, I've done it. I've already, it? Yeah. I've already, there's a switch. Um, yeah, there's, there's a, a switch. switch. So, Should we just get a still quickly while in video? We're just, we're just... I don't know why I've got a strap. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah that was good. Got I have that. my tongue out, right? Basically. Yeah. All right, all right. Should we start this video? Yeah, what is going on guys? Welcome back to Man Like Ricky and we have a special guest on the show, Sid North. North, that's it. Sid you got North. it, you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got it. It's, 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 it's getting coming. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. We're going to do something a little different, a little comparison. We've got two cars behind, uh, a 460 horsepower BMW M40i and also a 460 horsepower Audi RS3. They're both rival cars in some way or another. Well, more so than if we're getting really seedy, S3 um, M140i, but solid. It's weird because obviously you've got two cars with different tunes, but they both put out the same power. So that's not even why we're doing it, but what a coincidence. Yeah, both are 460 horsepower. Obviously the RS3, uh, just to let you know the prices on these cars. So the M140, uh, we paid around 20 grand. And the RS3 was 30 grand. If we're talking money, yeah. this is a 10,000 pound cheaper. Yeah. Well, that's, what, that's why they're so appealing is because of the cost. Yeah. The engine, B58, straight six, mm -hmm. rear wheel drive, unlike the RS3. You know, typical BMW 50-50 weight distribution, yada yada. So we had the uh, facelift before, which was the black one. So that one had the aluminium block. This one's the pre-facelift with the iron block. Um, I don't know why, this one sounds better. Like the B58, three litre single turbo, this is an awesome sounding car, but what, what do you reckon? Better sounding? I, I, I'd go for the five. The Audi. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what it is. It's got different tones and different RPMs. Certain RPMs, it's a Dodge Viper. Other parts of the RPMs, <laughs> it's an R8 like, yo, short shifting. It's yeah, it's just, and then it sounds yeah. like an Ur Quattro S1. What makes the RS3 significant and what makes it unique to it is the engine that five yeah. you buy it no, no, the 100%. Engine, but the downsides is it's an audi so yeah. numb steering under yeah you. but we did take for a drive yesterday yeah uh, come on uh, yeah very impressed it didn't want to push on wide like yeah. the original car uh. despite it not having the aluminium block because yeah. there's a 25 kilo difference yeah. in them so this one's had a geo setup it's, it's a full geo space. setup yeah well when i came in i looked at it and i went Got a bit of negative camber on the front, yeah, yeah, yeah. and and you notice that from the steer. I mean, the steering's a bit nicer. Yeah, um, it's it's a bit eager to turn in, and it's it's slightly throttle adjustable, which yeah. is unheard of in an Audi. I've just always been under the assumption that the facelift is the must-have RS3 to go with. But jumping in this initially didn't throw it into any corners. But let me tell you, it felt just like the facelift. You'd think it had 20k on the clock. Oh, absolutely. It's a 2015. Uh, whatever ones we have, they had upgraded brakes. You can see we've got J-hook discs. Not yeah. sure on the, the calipers, they're huge from factory anyway, but apparently two and a half grand on brakes. I don't know yeah. where two and a half grand's come from. You can see they're two-piece discs. The brakes are good as well, you say? Yeah, really good. Really yeah. good. Strong, solid pedal. Nice um, window flexors. We've got the carbon fiber, maximum body kit. Yeah, I mean, this one, so guys, like, for me, perfect spec. I mean, I'd probably go black, but I do like the white and black theme. We've got the M3 style mirrors. We also have the CS style. Alloys, these are not genuine, so they're probably a little bit heavier than the originals. We've got the Maxim body kit. You can see we've got double slatted kidney grills. This is obviously usually only for M cars. Uh, it's been lowered. Don't think it's been spaced. We went down the road in this. We noticed that the steering yeah, was, was nice, nice and yeah. it was a little bit pointier. So yeah, it might, yeah. we're not too sure, but it might have some geo done on it. But it looks yeah, good. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, it does yeah. look really, really good. It's not fully loaded with extras, but it's, mm. you know, it's still got the R drive. It's still got the M performance steering wheel. Yeah, and, and do you know what, in white, I quite like it with clear glass. I mean, you might, some might argue tints, yeah, but I yeah. think it's quite cool. No, nah, yeah, I, I mean, honestly, when we bought it, like that was the one thing I said, I'm like, you know what, we need to throw some tints on it, even just on the rear. But I think a light smoke would, I mean, look at the RS3. Yeah, to be fair, it, just, it works on the RS3, doesn't it? I had the yeah. uh, calipers done in white. I had these front plastic inserts sprayed black as well by the by the company bought it from. We've actually got a slip-on Akapovic tips as well. Yes. I don't think this is yeah. like a full-on yeah. exhaust, but... Again, it's had a downpipe upgrade. Um, yeah. So in terms of mods, they've had some, you know, they're sort of similar in their own rights. A little bit more has been done to the RS3. Yeah. But yeah. Um, you can tell that the previous owner 
wanted to concentrate on handling. Let's waffle. I think we'll jump in the cars now. Uh, we're not going to do like a chase cam where I'm going to be chasing Sid. We'll sort of both jump in one car. Oh, mate, you told uh, me Castle Coombe. We're going to no. do some oversteer and, you know, see you if we get the most You can't, man. This guy's trying to land us in jail, oh, bro. I'm, I'm a better driver, isn't it? You know? Well, that's what yeah. you think. That's what I thought. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm joking. Man, He's like Ricky, driver, bro. He's, He's good driver, you're on the wrong show, Well, you're a racing driver, aren't you? You're a racing car. You're a racing car. So, you know, you have to be better. Listen, I've got my security behind. Show him. Man like Owen. You need to I watch what he's saying, mate. Yeah, I know. He's fighting, yeah, yeah. isn't he? He oh, bites. Yeah, fuck, he, you know, he bites. Yeah, 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 mate. Oh, oh. So anyway, too let's many jump American out. Pie films. Listen, calm down, yeah, mate. Well, no, it's him. Mate, we asked for the raw, but you're going too raw, mate. mate. Every time you do this, right? When I jumped in your M4, you was like, no, bro, you're, you're driving like a pussy too, too slow. Then I go rag it down. Oh, bro, I can't post yeah, that. But bro, I can't fight. You're, you're, you're hard to fight. No, fathom. but this is the problem with Sid. This is the problem with Sid. He has no in between. It's either like one, five, or ten. Come on, bro, there's increments. Even small things like fire bites, I'll go up. No, no, no. too fast. Then yeah. it's too slow. It's you, Let's mate. all be honest, when Sid's in the car having it out, his life's on the line, right? Fuck being in the car with Sid. Everyone's life's on the line, right? Marty, come around. It is life on the line a little bit. Should we jump out? Yeah, let's go for a drive. Yeah, let's do it, lads. Man, like Sid, you know. We're, we're in here. We're in mine. For anyone that may be new, uh, you can win this RS3 for $1.99. Uh, Ticket link will be in the description. 100% real, genuine winners. It is no drug lads. Oh, oh night night. And whoever wins it have got themselves a, a really awesome it's car. It's a nice car. You know yeah. what? This seating says it right now with the wheel. You got the wheel out like this. Yeah, that's, that's my driver. Okay, position. man. Yeah, that's me. That's, 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 that's what nice. Makes, yeah. The front end feels nice, man. We are in a seriously nice place, man. It's 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 the car you want to spend a lot of time in, especially daily driving, etc. You know, I've always been put off of buying older cars, but just make sure it's in good condition. When I say good condition, like, like, bro, this car is like, it's like new inside. All scratches all over the plastic. It can really sort well, of- The ultimate telltale signs are like steering wheel. Like for me, if yeah. I've seen a worn out steering wheel, you can tell that someone's not, I like a clean steering wheel. I don't like any moisture. That's just me yeah. being me. But you can always have those telltale signs. Sounds nice, oh, isn't it? Sounds so good. So yeah, we've got DSG gearbox with gearbox software that ups clamping pressure. It's also been tuned by MRC. Stage yep. two tuned, yep. 460 horsepower. Yep. This has got the iron block guys, which they say is stronger to a certain degree. The newer engines are more tunable, so you can run more power. And once you get to a certain point, they become a little bit more unreliable. Wow, it does move, doesn't no, it? It does, it does. And it's, it's quite a nice, um, there's a bit, you know, there's a bit of lag, but once it comes on song, it's quite old school in its power delivery, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, old yeah. school turbo. There you go. When it sort of just comes in, a bit bumpy. No, it's smooth, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> smooth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just smooth. No, this is sure. actually, this is actually the bumpiest part here. Yeah, it's. Um, I mean, but look, it's just like. Yeah, immediate darts all over the road. It's, it's a bit more keener and eager to turn in mm. um, than the standard car. It's pretty quick, isn't it? Oh yeah, it, it is. It is. It's, um, it's deceptively fast. It's not like a rush, it's just like a surge of power that goes on, it just never stops. Oh, oh, oh that sounds nice. Oh, that sounds great. <laughs> that that sounds great. That is sick. Yeah, like I said earlier on, you, you just <laughs> buy the car for the motor. Have a listen, lads. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> What's your initial impressions of it then? I love RS3s, man. Uh, initially, I think it steers nice. It's not obviously like got tons of feedback. Well, it's an A3, isn't it? At the end of the day, it hasn't really compromised on what it is. Okay, it rides a bit choppy, but it's a nice place to be as well. Yeah. The, the highlight is definitely the engine, right? And no matter what skill set. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You know, as it changes into the next gear and it gets to about four to five, that that growl. What's great about these, it doesn't matter what skill set, anyone can get in it and go down a road and it, it, it does massage your ego a little bit, yeah. which is its drawback because the thing I have with cars like these, cars like Focus RS 845, is it gives you this almost like driving God ability. You think you can just attack corner, 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 because yeah. at the end of the day, there is understeer, you are going to run out of road and then you're just going to end up winding off. So, uh, yeah, it's nice, it's so nice. And it, it's, it, this isn't an engine really, it's a musical instrument that you just play it about with the paddles. That's what you <laughs> do. That's what it is. It's a trombone on wheels. Oh, right, yeah. Brakes are good as well. Let's give it, 
let's give it a full in second and see what it does. Right. Likes to rev right at the top as well. But fourth gear, roll on the torque, and it's just that low down shove is so nice. There. Jeez. You realise how we go over the bottom, don't crash though, does no, it? No, it doesn't. It's not. It no, absorbs it's, it's, it. No, it's, it's stiff, but it, it, take, it soaks up. Yeah, it's it? not. It's not bouncing around all over the shop, but like. I'm at 2.8 RPM right now, Dodge Viper, uh, Quattro, Volvo, yeah. and then R8. <laughs> We've got a mix of five cylinders and V10s all over the yeah. shop. You just tell off centre, it's just that little bit more eager. Turns in nice, yeah. man. Yeah, nice, nice, very nice. It's hanging on. As a package, it does a bit of everything really well. And I'd say to anyone that's got an RS3 or anyone who's been doubted about not you know not wanting to buy an RS3 and going for an M2 or 140 instead just do the Geo it just feels great and then coming out of here full throttle loads of traction you know how it's four wheel drive so you're not gonna you're not gonna break the rear end um, under throttle but it's not trying to be that sort of car it's not an Evo it's not super impressive it's got accurate front end though isn't it yeah, it's got, yeah 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 it's I need to drive a normal one to sort of I see now we can't deny that it's like we've just downgraded in it yeah the materials the design I mean this is cool it feels sporty we've got like the Alcantara up yeah. here Alcantara wheel carbon fiber I mean these are Things that the previous owner, I think, have done anyway. Yeah, he's done that. That's, battery, that's, that's not. That's defo. Um, but it does feel more driving orientated, racy, yeah. CSL vibes. I'm getting with the wheel. Oh, Let's go uh, Sport Plus and straight into it. I mean, it doesn't kick in like the um, like the R3. Like you're saying, there's a, almost an initial bit of lag. Yeah, and then it kicks in. But it does it so seamlessly. It's yeah. so smooth. Everything is just. You know, it's progressive, whereas the RS3 is a little bit more drama, you know, you get that sudden whoosh. I'm not driving position, I'm really low in this cabin. I mean, I don't think I've checked the adjustments fully on the RS3, but yeah, I'm sitting nice and low. What's that? Oh, RS3. RS3. Oh, was that a was that a Yeah, yeah. Oh, was that a four? Nice. Yeah, yeah we've got an yeah. uh, instant throttle response, like the turbo is yeah. really quick spooling. I can tell um, that from the passenger seat, it's just... Open diff. A little bit more screwy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, man, it's really, really bulky low down, guys. Yeah. Um, steering's not as sort of connected almost. Like, it's not as responsive. I, I just feel that jumping in the R3 a second ago, as soon as I moved the steering, it just felt a bit more responsive. Yeah, and but it feels smoother over here, doesn't it? Yeah, it rides the bumps a little bit better. But then there's a point. There's flex in the chassis. We've spoken about these. These yeah. 140s don't feel as rigid yeah. or as stiff. People get confused with the M140, don't they? They, yeah. they associate it with an M car, which yeah, sure. we know it's not. They think it's the E46. Yeah. But M3, I wouldn't even it? call yeah. the M140 the equivalent of an S model Audi, I wouldn't no, say. Just if is. you drive a Golf R, they feel so much more prided, more sporty, um, in my opinion. Yeah. And aside from the engine, obviously the engine is what makes this car. It like. should just be called 140i rather than 140i. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Yeah, do you know what I mean? It's, it's all branding, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's, just all, it's all marketing, you yeah, know, come marketing, on. Yeah. Yeah. It's car manufacturing, isn't it? It's sell cars, mm -hmm. you know. We're not doing bad, are we, Sid? No, it's good. You know what I mean? I know it's not like a sideway Sid production, you know. Oh, here we go. So what's your thoughts jumping in straight away? Immediately, like I said earlier, sit lower. I mean, the dolls are, it's all familiar BMW. It's, it's it's not exciting, but it's, it, there's something. It's like it's like visiting your parents' house. It's kind of dead, but at the same time, it's home, isn't it? You know you're gonna get <laughs> you know you're gonna get food on the table. You know you're gonna get your you know your clothes clean. You know you're gonna have tea when you wake up. <laughs> but I reckon other cars of this year, like M2s, will get more appreciation. F80, M3, the M4. In the tuning world, what's awesome about these cars is you can double the horsepower. Yeah, um, which is insane. And another thing as well is, for the sakes of not even a thousand pound, it will smoke an M3 or an M4. And I know no, it's no. beyond straight yeah. line performance, but is it not hard to buy a car knowing that it's? Yeah, if we was like 19, we just passed our test, and we knew that for half the price we can get the same performance. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to sort of because the M car is obviously it's, it's beyond. You know, yeah, what I mean? it's, it's about feedback. I think if this is your first Beamer. You're gonna love it. Absolutely, you're gonna love it. I'm gonna give it a bit of a launch yeah, just on, to man. see if it's yeah, good yeah. on the traction. I 
there to manage wheel spin there. Felt good, man. But felt it felt good. pretty good. As long yeah. as you manage the throttle. I, I love the feeling of um, us being pushed from the rear as well. Yeah, it is nice. Like, it's not like the R is free. We're sunk in the ground and yeah. it's, it's... And immediate. Oh. Sick. <laughs> it feels like a dual clutch. Yeah. You know, I've I've been going on about... Oh, I've been going on about this since the launch of the G80 M3. I've been going on about why, why, why has it got the ZF box and yeah. not the DCT? Mm. And BMW's answer is, oh, it's easier to live with. But come on, bro. It's a, it's yeah, you lose that sort of exaggeration, man. Um, that thump in the back. Uh, but there was disadvantages to the DCT, man. Like um, upshifting, you could upset the balance of the car. You know, obviously the X-Drive yeah. would have been fine. But with the F80s, man, depending on the style of mapping, and if you stage one tuned it, it was very aggressive. Yeah, option. but that's, that's but all down to mode all. shifts, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, And those yeah, mode yeah. shift threes, yeah. really, that doesn't change the speed. It's just the ferocity. It's just that stupid jolt. Yeah. I don't know why yeah, you yeah, want well, your DCT yeah. to feel like a single clutch. I don't know, it's fucking stupid. Yeah. But like, as I say, it's, it's, it may not gain anything performance-wise, but personality-wise, that exaggeration, just feeling like you're in a... Like that bolt action, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, again, yeah. that marketing tool, isn't it? It's that marketing <laughs> that BMW. Market. We know what you're doing, BMW. We know, we know your fucking game. The steering rack is slower than the Audis, but it's more natural. I'd say there's more feel in this. It's a little bit more progressive in the way it sort of flows. Well, how are we comparing it to the Audi inside? Oh, Audi trumps it yeah. all, day, all day long. Yeah. The fit and finish, build quality, some of the plastics there, it's a bit it's a bit cheap. But then, do you know what? This car was pretty affordable when it came out, so... Okay, so we're giving it to Audi. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with that. Yeah, Audi. I'd say the Audi definitely inside makes me feel way more special. I'd yeah. say handling-wise, it's, it's a bit of a bit of a tricky one because they, they're wee, different You like rear wheel, don't I, you? I do you like, like rear wheel. I do you like rear wheel. Yeah, for me... Yeah this wins it yeah and the noise, yeah. yeah yeah i mean don't get me wrong there are certain bits i would like a limited slip differential um I but would, what is it you prefer handling wise about it just the fact that it's, it's predictable wheel, like, it's or, predictable and you've got to work it you know like you know that yeah. launch i just did i had to manage wheel spin yeah i had to you know i had to do a bit of correction so for fun so it. we would say fun then it's handling say this, wise yeah, for handling fun wise i would prefer the m140 as well handling wise if we're talking just from a fun factor and just I like rear wheel, I like to know I'm in control of the front yeah, wheel, absolutely. the rear wheels. Yeah, I, I like the RS3 a lot man, like from a driving perspective definitely you know, you know, maybe even if you want to learn how to drive better I would say go over an M140. The RS3, like you say, it's like autopilot, it can, what did you say, it can massage your ego, it can make you yeah, think you're a better driver than it, you are. Yeah, it, it, it requires little from the driver definitely whereas to extract its performance. Yeah, where is this and because it's, what, what I do like is because it is flawed, you sort of have to work with it, mm. um, and I and I like that in a car. I like yeah, well, it's testing like, your driving ability, exactly. right? Exactly. You know what? Like I, I was watching the GT3 uh, 992 Nurburgring lap time last night. Just a normal customer did a six minute 57. But I was just sitting there watching him. I'm like. Bro, oh, you're in a GT3, like, are you even having to do anything? Mid corner, he's flat. Yeah, he can. No, you, you no, like, can. no hesitation, no wheel spit, nothing. But I don't know, for the first time last night, I'm just watching him go around, and yeah, he's driving the car fucking amazing. But I'm sitting there in the back of my head, just knowing that this car, the performance is so high on it. Like, mm. all he's doing is having to, bro, he can brake so late, he can turn, he can accelerate at any point in the corner. Of course, he's still got to, you know, manage for it all, but mm. it's not like there's going to be no sort of consequences for him driving Absolutely. it too bad, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. And I, I, but that's mostly modern cars now, isn't it? I think yeah. that's the way it is, you know, as tech goes on and, you know, new cars come out, you know, it's, I don't want to sound like one of those old things, you know, they're driving like themselves, but <laughs> you know, I don't, it'll drive itself soon and all that, but it kind of is. I'm going to end the video there, lads. Yeah. Uh, Sid, respect, brother. Yeah, sure. Um, might even try shooting another video right now, not too sure. But if you did enjoy yeah. the video, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah, check out Sid's channel. You're, yeah. you're back to making content. Yeah, and... Sid North, yeah. Doing all sorts, whatever. You yeah. know, just, you know, out and about, right? Yeah, out and about. Out and about. Out and about. Oh, cool. All right, guys, till next time. Can't slow me down like speed hum. No. Keep up when I speed up. No. See your future, that's my past. Yeah. See the smoke when I drive past. Yeah. Fast lane, living life fast. See your girl, she's in my car. Mm. Oh well, that's your girl in my hotel, that's five stars. Yeah. Make the rules yeah. disappear.